okay i can see your screen now open postman okay so you wish no i in the last session you explained me how to work with the http node uh, mm -hmm. now i wanted to just integrate i iib with postman so oh, no. yeah you want uh, to provide some data for the input uh, from the postman also see that input getting transformed uh, by using a compute node and generate a different output uh, that you receive yeah. back at the postman yeah we see all right um i uh, have just installed the postman i don't know what to do with it so okay uh, let's open one of my projects in github open uh, browser yeah go to my github repository uh github.com/codetoblog yeah select tool iib the first repo okay yeah so person v2 it exposes the rest api interacts with the database so since you don't have a database to interact with that won't work for us uh, then hello world underscore v1 it exposes http endpoint makes use of demo uh, in trace node pagination using mq nodes i think it will become complex uh, all right let's move on to the next project so hello world underscore v1 underscore is so that one exposes so web service all right so uh, download this repository and we will uh, import hello world v1 is integration service yes. okay so what's the right side uh, you have uh, something known as code a green button mm. click on that yeah and download zip file okay yeah it's downloaded now uh, ek extract that uh, contents into a folder app no that's not the one minimize it okay it's v1 the next one. okay ah yes click okay click finish yeah we got it here expand this go to the flows we have one flow which has been auto generated for us from the wstl okay so it has an operation called say hello expand uh, click on say hello so say hello takes one string it will uh, respond back with another string for us so expand uh, sub flows on the left sub flows in project explorer okay sub flows expand that select the last one yeah so click on uh, the compute node and open that double click on that node so the response is uh, it will take something from the input and it will append hello to it so if you say uh, your name it will say hello parichata okay. okay so you have to uh, it does not uh, it will uh, use your input and it will transform your input into an output structure so let's okay. use postman uh, okay go to postman now yeah create a new project 
or a new request. This is how will I do? Is this the first time that you're using? Uh, yeah. Post? Yeah. Click on home. Now, uh, in the middle of the screen, uh, there is an option called create new. Click on that. Create team. Okay. Create this one. new. Yeah, yeah. HTTP request. Click back. Click on back. Right. Uh, new click on new the plus button in the middle of the screen okay new any okay plus button in the middle of the screen yeah so this is a http get call uh, type in http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 7800 Let's go back to uh, the toolkit and copy the rest of the path from this. Okay. This one so, location? Uh, no, not that. Uh, open uh, the message flows. Yeah, flows. Expand uh, that. Right click on that. Uh, right click on the message flow and say open with open with open with third option from top message flow editor message oh, flow it. editor. open with message flow editor Click on yeah. soap in. Click on HTTP transport. Copy that uh, forward slash hello. Yeah. Go back to postman. Paste that in. Yeah, did it with question mark WSTL. Put a question mark WSTL. Enter. Okay. Send this request. Hmm. So we got the WSTL from that service. Okay. Uh, click on the plus button again. We'll create another uh, request. And this request will be a post uh, request. Click on get. And okay. change that into a post. Okay. The same uh, URL HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost. And uh, you can remove the question mark WSTL. Okay. Now select uh, body, click on body, mm -hmm. change it to XML. Uh, I, I, okay, click on draw now. R A W. Select yeah. uh, the drop down box which says text and change it to XML. Change it to XML. Okay. Now uh, we have to type the XML uh, and the XML has to be uh, a SOAP format. So go back to toolkit and copy the response structure from that sample. Uh, hello world dot XML file. It's in other resources already open in uh, one of the tabs. Okay. Copy the entire thing. Oh, we'll need uh, the soap envelopes as well. Mm, okay. What do we do about that? Yeah, we have it. Uh, 
copy this. Put that into a notepad. Paste it here and remove uh, the section which says uh, get user. All three lines of get user. Yeah, delete that. Now uh, go back to toolkit and uh, copy the entire contents. Now uh, paste this contents into uh, notepad plus uh, notepad uh, the re uh, place where we remove get user. Yeah. Delete the XML header on after so body. After so body, there is XML header. Delete that. Yeah. And then uh, remove the response from the next line. Say hello response. Change it to say hello. Do the same thing for the uh, end tag as well. And change the out uh, head, uh, the out the XML field uh, XML element called out into in. In I N in. Okay, okay. And provide your name uh, in as a value for this field. Copy this entire uh, structure and paste it into Postman. Hmm. Click on Send. We got a so fault. No, let's see what the so fault says. Exception detected in message flow. Scroll down. Scroll down. A soap logical cannot structure cannot be built from the message bit stream. Click on close. Yeah, let's create a, a new soap project. Click on soap and uh, select the second uh, initial WSTL and type the URL that we provided in Postman. The first uh, URL with a WSTL. Yeah. Paste it here. Change the project name to Hello World and click OK. Expand, so uh, say hello. Click on request. Copy this entire structure. Put this into uh, Postman. 
second tab right replace this entire uh, thing with the value that you have copied and on line number five write your name in place of question mark okay click send now we got a response saying hello parcher <laughs> you provide an input and in post uh, you provided the input in postman and you got a response uh, which made use of your input this is how uh, we can use postman <laughs> Okay. Anything else? Yeah, that's it. Yes. 